Now let's talk about the Arduino Portanta H7 Advanced Level from Arduino. As you can see, this is the Arduino board pricing. It's about $103. And now let's talk about the packaging. This is how the Arduino Portenta board comes. And it comes in a neat packaging. Now it's sealed, so you have to unseal it. And here you can see the specifications. Program it with high level languages and AI while performing low latency operations on its customizable hardware. As you can see, the connectivity features include PLE, uh, Wi-Fi, and Ethernet. It also has an SDRAM of 8 megabytes. Plus, it has a flash memory that is 16 megabytes. The chip is STM, and as you can see, this is how it looks. Uh, in physical layout and the interfaces that it supports are a lot i square c spi can pass ethernet dsi usb uart and sai it operates at a 5 volt and it can also operate at 3.3 volt now the pin out is about 84 and there is 10 PWM pins and 10 analog pins. So you have 84 digital pin. The dimensions, it's very small. It's smaller than the Arduino Uno. It comes in 66 uh, by 25 millimeters. And as you can see, it has a very neat packaging. It's assembled in Italy and it comes in a very compact lock now let's open the package as you can see this is the board and thank you for choosing arduino ticket plus the user manual and you can find it online if you don't like keeping manuals as you can see you can unfold it and read it now this is the board itself and from what you can see here it's sealed so that it won't move a lot uh, to protect it from getting damaged and here we have the ports now this port has a lot of ports and usually these ports doesn't come with pins as you can see you have to solder them yourself and you can place it on any other board so it's like a board that is customizable you can get a shield and place it above that shield but it must support Arduino Proteina it has a USB-C connector not the normal USB connector that you might find on an Arduino Uno board or any other board and uh, here in the middle we have the Arduino which is basically the processor now as you can see it also has a button in the middle and this button can be used to reset the board if you had any issue there are other pins as well and now let's talk about the ports that this board has as you can see from this image up on the top we have a battery charger led to the left of the USB-C board and an RGB led to the right so that you can test it out and we also have the USB, which is the big thing right here, the USB-C port at the top. Now to the left, we have a temperature sensor, and you can also use this connector to connect a 3.7 voltage battery to power up the Arduino Pro Tinta. Now to the right, we have few pins, the ground pin, and we have the plus 5 volts pin and plus the I square C and SPI pins. Now moving forward to the left, we have the reference pin for voltage and we have analog pins as well. As you can see, ADC means analog to digital converter. Now moving on, we have PWM pins and these pins can also be used for digital input output as you can see they are labeled d0 d1 d2 d3 and so on now to the right we have digital pins as well and they have dual function 
you can also use them for UAR communication, I2C, SPI communication, and for PWM. Plus, we have a reset pin, a ground pin, 3.3, and voltage input, and a plus 5 volts pin. In the middle, we have the main element, which is the STM32H747. XIH, which is the controller brain. Now that's it. This is the board. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and share it with everyone you know who might be interested. This is Educational Engineering Team.